So guys, okay, this is part two of the video that I talked about, and uh, I'm still around here. I guess this this area is called Kizingo. Yeah, because uh, I saw somewhere written Kizingo. So I'm not just I'm not far from where I actually left. Uh, I'm not that far from where I left uh, from the beach. Uh, I can see, oh, okay. So let's just keep exploring around, see the beautiful things this side has to offer. So we can see C, C View Plaza, so actually the plaza that I showed you guys that was actually facing the facing the ocean. And in front of it, oh baby, uh, we had the actually the golf club that I showed you guys. So this is still the area guys, to be honest, yeah, it's really really amazing. I don't see any dumping sites around here. Because that is something common in, in Mombasa, especially in areas, you know, in town areas, you can just see trash dumped somewhere. But this place, man, it's really, really, really clean, guys. Check this out, guys. Wow, it's really, really amazing. Really amazing, 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 amazing. I can't just get enough of this place, guys. So let's just keep exploring around, guys. Just keep walking around here, guys. See what this beautiful place is going to offer. So. Actually, I have no idea where this road uh, is actually going to lead to. I don't know if I'm going to, into someone's apartment or what. I have no idea. But uh, let's find out. Let's find out. Uh, Vipi, kuna njia uko kwenda hivi? Ah, Santa Santa. So, guys, uh, actually, this is a way. So, I just greeted the guys and asked them if there's another way that can actually take us back that side because I've seen so many junctions junctions as i was walking along this road yeah guys okay so this is a lighthouse it's a lighthouse guys it's a lighthouse Whoa, okay let me just show you guys okay 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 i think i need to take a picture of this okay it's a lighthouse oh vivi Hii mita itwaje kizingo Narani hapo hapo So actually this area called Kizingo Narani so in Swahili a tower uh, is called Mnara Nara So this is it guys Kizingo Mnarani Wow so I need to take a picture of this place so let me just take a picture here So guys, I actually had to walk all the way from that point. I walked for some few meters because I couldn't get this thing into frame, this tower, light. it's called lighthouse. I couldn't get into the frame, so I had to come back. I had to push back. So guys, we are in Kizingo. Uh, it's finally, I know the name, I asked someone to tell me that. So this, we are in Kizingo guys. And I had to come back to take this shot of this building. And I guess this is going to be the thumbnail of this video around Kizingo. So guys, okay. So right now that we I've just shown you, because actually and uh, something you should know that this is really 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 a famous spot, you know, for photo shoots. Uh, so many people do come here, take photos and include this tower, the lighthouse, uh, in the shot. Yeah, this is really famous. Uh, famous spots for sh photos around here yeah lighthouse so it's lighthouse actually it shows waves uh, for the ships that actually come in here yeah because it's closer 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 to the ocean so right now nothing much guys nothing much uh, but I still have to I still have to go I still have to go. I, I don't think it is a way here. Uh, there's no way, but I have to go back. I have to go back because if I decide to take that route, I'm going back uh, to. I'm going back to Mamangina, so and uh, that's not where I want to go. So right now I'm just going to go back, uh, take the junction, and head back up. Yeah. So I'll actually show you guys. So guys. This, we are in Kizingo right now and uh, this is the view guys this is the amazing view that we just actually see around here 
So tell me the vibe of yeah, is, just tell me how do you feel about the vibe of this place, tell me how you actually find this place to be. Is, is it really amazing you can consider yourself coming around here, having fun, you know, just walking around, getting to another place. Anyway, uh, wow, I'm really blown up guys. It's actually blowing, blowing my mind guys. Okay, so let's just see what this place has to offer. So this is actually the guys I asked earlier, the ones on the palm trees. Yeah. Wow. So guys, this is it, this is it guys. It's really, really, really hot, but with the breeze, wow. It's really amazing because I'm closer, closer, very, very, very close to the beach. So guys, this is it guys. Tell me, how do you feel about the vibe of this place? How do you find this place? Is it an area you actually consider living in? Yeah, for me, uh, what I can tell you is that if you, you, you have the money, if you can afford to live in such an area, then you should do so. Because it's really, really amazing. It's really, really fantastic. We have so much this area that can offer. We have buildings, really amazing apartments around here. You can just come and rent an apartment around here or buy an apartment and stay around this area because it's really incredible that's what i can i can tell you guys just just check it out yeah. it's really really incredible yeah if you have the money to do so because actually what i can tell you is that only the rich actually who lives in this area the poor people can't afford to live around this area that's why it's called kizingo if you ask anyone in mombasa kizingo uh, they will tell you that that's where the rich actually reside, the tycoons of Mombasa. Yeah, guys, if you're watching this video, guys, and you're living in uh, this area, just tell me what you think about my thoughts. Just tell me, am I really right uh, for saying that this area is where actually the tycoons, the tycoons live, or am I just, you know? Uh, just, let's just, 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 let's just talk, guys. Let's just talk because, yeah, it's really really amazing to hear what you guys think also about this area but anyway i'm going up i'm going up uh we need to see to explore this area because i haven't done much of that yeah okay so so far i'm really really impressed guys this area is really amazing maybe i should uh, i should take my girlfriend one day take my girlfriend around this area hey baby you know what let's go let's go stroll let's go stroll yeah let's go strolling take you somewhere you know take you somewhere that is actually going to change your perspective of how things are you know yeah no? yeah so that you can see how mombasa is you know actually that's what is just going to uh to make you keep on working hard for your dreams keep on pushing pushing harder for the things you want in life yeah actually that's all uh since i started this youtube channel guys uh to be honest i've been showing you places and uh, that is what actually uh, kept me you know i've been traveling no long distance but not that far but for the few times that i've been just moving around showing you guys around these places like this uh it's actually made me think you know abdul jabbar AJ, you really have to work hard to be able to live in this kind of place. To be able to travel, to actually explore such kind of areas, you know? Uh, have the kind of lux luxury, luxurious life that you, you actually want to live. You should do that. You should ha work hard for the things that you want in life. Because, yeah, that's it. So I've been pushing myself so hard uh, back then. And I'm still doing it because if you guys can actually observe the kind of content that I've just been publishing in this video, you know, guys, you know that I'm really hardworking. I'm really pushing myself to the limits to do so. You know, pushing myself to the limits to show you guys, uh, to show you guys amazing content. Yeah, around Mombasa. Yeah, and that's actually what I'm doing. So, okay, so let's keep just going forward. I actually did a video exploring this area, Jafar Academy. Uh, the video I did was about Aga Khan neighborhood. 
and uh, I did a video about that so it's going to be I'm going to leave the link in the description so if you want to check that video out you'll see just there in the description guys so but for now let's just keep exploring this area guys and uh, show you around guys so take you places take you some of the junctions that actually never took, took you before yeah this is the wrong Kizingo guys Kizingo Kizingo this place is freaking freaking amazing this is where the filthy rich people stay <laughs> I know filthy rich it feels yeah this rich guy yeah man so okay let's take this junction here I don't know where it's going to lead I don't know I don't know if I'm going to find myself in somebody's apartment I don't know I'm not sure I don't know anything and uh, let's just go and find out yeah it's not going to be bad if I end up in some rich dude apartment in <clears throat> someone's apartment and oh hey what are you doing here what are you doing ah oh, but uh, no I can see there's another road just along this side so this actually means I'm not going to find myself in somebody's apartment that's good that's really really good so guys okay so okay it has been six minutes I've been walking around guys uh, so we have honorable Khalif Mwavumo that's around here oh this place is really beautiful guys I can't put so much stress on that guys check that check that out I can't put so much stress on that stress on that it's really really amazing <clears throat> okay so let's just keep around slowing around here uh, yeah see what we're going to find along this beautiful beautiful area of Zingo okay I found something here this Alco Alco Alcodia Alcodia Logistic Limited it's a company logistic company uh, I think deals with shipping shipping company something of sort if you can see yeah it's just along this beautiful area of Kizingo where actually the rich rich filthy rich people stay okay so let's keep moving guys let's keep moving uh, I guess this building I saw the construction guy said was going along that side yeah that actually where I was <clears throat> and taking this junction I think but I think there's another way that goes this side so this means I'm going to take that route and uh, keep heading back yeah find another route just to show you guys around around here so guys so far I'm really really impressed really impressed by what I see around here really amazing really really amazing place guys check it out it's just green and uh, what actually this means is that people have been taking care of this place so amazing right something like that and uh, that's why it looks like this and uh, poor people can't live in this area because of that it's only for the rich people oh baby and I put your and on your to meet my son Kizingo so guys this is Kizingo so the rich yeah so anyway uh, <laughs> those guys were actually looking at me and uh, yeah and, and you don't you don't have to be scared guys you know come around here just do your do your thing do your thing no one is going to bother you but hey why are you filming around this area no okay guys okay we found uh, so we uh, have a tea apartment along this road and uh, we have the Royal House, the Royal House restaurant. It's a restaurant. Okay, let me just just get closer. Let me just get closer. Show you guys. So this is a restaurant, guys. That's around here. But uh, we're not going there. I don't think I have the money to afford this restaurant. I don't have. Yeah, but maybe in some 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 future. In future, in future I'll be able. But right now, I'm just exploring the streets showing you guys around here where the witch actually resides you know something like that get, get the feeling man yeah man it's really really amazing I love the feeling I love the feeling you know uh, I've never explored this side but it's really really amazing to see what this street, this streets 
as your opera. Abari, abari. Okay, so guys, tell me, tell me how do you think about this place? How do you think? What do you think about it? It's really, really, really amazing, really clean, guys. Really clean. Yeah, even some parts of town, I mean, the main the CBD area of Mombasa can't actually match up to this place. The way amazing, the way amazing it looks. And uh, just along here, along the streets, we can see some new buildings that are coming up, which is really, really cool because it shows that this area is actually developing. Some new buildings are coming up. Yeah, new things are coming up. And uh, yeah, that's it. We need to see that. We need to see that a lot. Okay, so I don't know which road I should take, but I think I should go this side. So let me just let me just hit the junction, guys. Check this apartment, guys. It's really really amazing. And uh, yeah, so let's go around this road. So it's going to take me back to the main road. Abari abari. It's going to take me back to the main road so that I can go back where I came from. Uh, as I show you guys around this area, it's pretty pretty cool. I'm super excited about this. And uh, as I've been moving far away from the beach, it's actually really really hot around here. <laughs> it's really really freaking hot. But uh, to be honest, yeah, that's it. That's what, that is what you should expect when you come to Mombasa. It's really hot, and uh, that's how it's going to be. But anyway, that's the the reality. The reality check. Of Mombasa anyway to be honest it's freaking cool freaking freaking cool I don't have I just ran out of words to explain this place I mean to express how this place actually is you know I ran out of words because it just blow in my mind blow in my mind like what what man I've never been actually exploring this area why why haven't i been doing that why why abdul why 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 so i'm telling myself that so check this out it's really really amazing uh this footage is definitely going to be and we have marshall heights air and first side so guys as i was saying this footage is actually going to be really really amazing because i can feel it deep down in my guts i can feel that this is really going to to be amazing because of how it is sometimes i do watch my videos i do watch my videos check out where i did wrong you know trying to fix those silly things that i did in these videos so that I, uh, next time when i come up with the video i actually know what i should do or not do so that the video can become better something like that but yeah Oh guys, this area is really really blowing my mind guys, really blowing my mind. So it's about 15 minutes in, around here still walking around, showing you guys the places guys. Wow, it's actually blowing my mind. It's really 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 amazing guys. Wow, this is what money can get you. What money can get you in Mombasa, Kizingo, the beautiful apartment closer to the beach. Wow. Anyway, yeah, let's just keep exploring, showing you guys around, giving you the tests, giving you the vibe of this amazing, amazing place around Mombasa. Okay, so I guess we we're heading back to the uh, to the main streets. I mean, I guess I'm heading back to the road uh, that actually where I actually started. I don't know if it's the same one or it's a different one. But I have no idea. Guys, check this out. Wow. So, yeah, it's actually the same, same streets that actually started uh, that when I moved along this road. So, I guess right now, but I guess we should just continue going. Yeah. So, guys, check this out. Wow, freaking freaking cool, man. Really, really cool. So let me just move along uh, to the end of the streets. Go back. Uh, there's another another way I need to go into so that I can show you. Guys, yeah, check this out, guys.
Okay, so there's another route here. So let me just take this route. So... Wow. Feeling the vibe of this place, guys. Really, really amazing. Really amazing and amazing an apartment, guys. Wow! It's blowing my mind. Blowing my mind. Okay. So this is actually the road I wanted to take. Fortunately, I found it here just to give you the, the view of this beautiful apartment in Kizingo. So guys, this is it guys. Uh, what I can tell you, the security is top notch around this area. Because, yeah, it's area of the rich. The rich security is just really amazing. Usikojue hapa utafura. Wow. <laughs> That's a warning. Means don't you net here. You will just you know those yeah uh, your din din is going to is going to expand in Swahili. But you'll blame yourselves. This is actually what the the warning is saying around here guys. So yeah, warning you guys. Don't come and urinate net here. Your your thing will will expand in a way you have never thought before. Not in a good way. You know, the, we have positive expansion and we have negative one. So your your use is going to expand in a negative way. Then you're in it there because we have those people who actually have this habit of you know they just urinate on the walls. Yeah, you just come you know and they urinate on the walls in such an area, such an area like this. Yeah, see see see. Because there are no public toilets around here. You'll have to go maybe in someone's place, you know. Yeah, anyway. That's at actually what I'm trying to tell you. It's really freaking, freaking... Yeah. Oh, ah, no comment, guys. No comment, guys. Because, actually, yeah. What can you do? You can't go in someone's apartment. Say, hello. You Maybe you knock on the door. Hey. Hello, guys. Is anyone around here? I really wanna, I really wanna, yeah, I really wanna help myself. I, uh, no, no, no one can allow that, man. That's why people have to do it on the streets. And they put some really freaking scary, scary wires on the walls. So that people don't do that, but people continue doing it. As you have seen, there's someone, uh, there was someone back there who was actually doing that. Just along this road, so that's what I'm trying to say. Anyway. Done with that, done with that. Yeah, this guy this was actually urinating along the road. So yeah, so guys, we actually back to the main road. Back to the main road from back uh, where we started, but I'm not going to go back again uh, straight where I came from. I'm going to go that side, and uh, actually that is where I'll end the video. So guys, it has really, really been amazing actually exploring this area, showing you guys this area. I really miss doing this. Yeah, I really love doing this. I really love it. Oh man, the things you get to see outside here are actually going to blow your mind. Really, really going to blow your mind. So, okay. Okay, so as I was telling you, things are going to blow your mind around here. But uh, yeah, let me just keep going along this road. Uh, okay. There's a roundabout here. Okay, but uh, let me check this side first. Is anything. Uh, okay, so I need to cross. So, so in Mombasa two tukus, tukus are very 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 many. Very many, very many. Tukus are very very many in Mombasa guys. Because that's uh, one of the cheapest transportation modes 
that people get uh, like to use. You know? Okay, so guys, actually heading this side, I'm going back to uh, to, to a road. I did a video on, on that area when I was exploring this part. As I told you earlier, that this road actually takes you to Forty Jesus. If you go down, 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 you're going to Forty Jesus. And uh, I think I should end this video here because I did a video uh, of that part, showing you guys around. But before that, there's actually a pizza lounge somewhere here. If you want some pizza, uh, just take the Baraki Road, come along on the junction, you just head around here, you'll find this, this spot around here. So, the pizza lounge, pizza lounge, yeah, something like that. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much uh, for watching this video, for being part of this big community. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye. Wow. What's happening here?